Hi, I'm Diana Benner with the Watershed Nursery and we are putting together this video to share um, the system that we have developed to implement the best management practice to reduce the chance of Phytophthora pathogens in your potty media. Uh, Phytophthora can be spread the main three vectors are soil, water, and plants. And so your soil pile can be a source of Phytophthora spores. When we first learned about this best management practice and wanted to implement it, there was no source of heat treated potting media available to us locally. And the developed existing systems for heat treating soil or potting media were beyond our budget and space capacity. So. I called my brother, who's an engineer, and he helped us come up with this affordable method for heat treating soil. So I'm gonna show you how we put it together. The first thing that you need is a little propane barbecue. So you can see what we're talking about. It's basically about this big little propane barbecue. And from that barbecue, we're basically just extracting this propane delivery tube. So um, it is screwed into the shell of the barbecue like this. So you unscrew this end and then this um, control device is kept in place just with a little clip. So you remove that clip you can take the tube out of the barbecue like that. You're going to put this inside our lower heating can. So we're going to have this system is going to be two cans, one on top of the other. The bottom one has the heat and the top one has your potty media in it. So before you're going to install the um, propane tube into the lower can, you need to get a lot of good ventilation happening down there. So we used, um, you know, a pretty hunky drill bit and um, just put a bunch of holes on the bottom um, as well as along the edges. And then you do one hole higher up here, which is where the propane tube will be inserted. And you want to keep your can also up off the ground so you have that air circulatory space underneath the can. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is insert the propane tube into the lower can now that we've got all our holes in there. And you can just slide it in from top have that end go there and screw this piece in. We're going to um, attach the controller to the other end. And then you just slide it in there and then it's got a little, I don't know the name for that clip, but a little clip. Et voila. Okay, so now the thing that was cool when we first did this, we did it with um, one can. Um, so you're going to take these also come from the little propane barbecuer um, and we just took them out of the barbecue and we place them down over the tube which helps keep the the second the inner can that's going to have your potting media up above the tube um, I also found that it helps to actually raise it a little higher because the two cans can get kind of stuck inside of each other and it's hard when they're full of media to separate them. So um, a little cinder block or some bricks placed on the edges, you know, without um, blocking your holes too much are nice for keeping it high and making them easy to separate. Uh, so then you're going to place your inner can, which you have no holes in, inside. The thing you need here is steam. It's the wet heat that has um, the transference of heat through the potting media and gets to the correct temperature for killing off the phytophthora. So um, in the bottom of the can, we put about an inch of water. In, it's not in there right now, but you can see it's got rust <laughs> from that time. 
Um, and then we went to the baking supply store and got a bowl that fits just right inside of there. And we put more water inside of there. Um, we basically want to keep our soil kind of up off the bottom. So we got a couple of uh, baking sieves. I'm sorry, I don't know what size they are, but anyway, we put two um, and they fit real nice on top of the um, bowl down there. And Alejandro is going to show you in the part later about the actual filling of the soil um, and the moistening of it to put it in here for the heat treatment process. Um, one, so things, lessons we've learned. When we first started, we did um, just one can. So you get your moist soil in here and your water on the bottom, put your top on. Um, you're gonna turn on your propane from the main tank. And at this controller, propane explodes. So it's really important to be very careful. So it's a little easier to light it um, from up above here than trying to come in and see through these holes. It's totally possible through the holes, but just a little easier. Um, so we'll light it from the top with the inner can not placed yet. Um, and then you're going to place the inner can down on top and you just need to go, you know, slowly so you don't blow out the flame that's in there. Um, and then once you get it in there, double check look from down below and make sure your flame is still going okay so we're shooting for 140 for a half hour minimum at the coolest point in your column of media uh, which is going to be at the top and we found in the center here um, and that means that the bottom of your column is getting much hotter than that which can be um, a concern is it can change properties of your soil your potting media chemistry uh, in detrimental ways, one particular aspect of concern is manganese toxicity. So we've come up with this improvisation to distribute the heat more quickly through the soil column. Is the addition of these copper tubes into the soil column. And they have, you can see he's put holes throughout them and then also pinch the top. And he will place this down through the column of soil. Ah, like this, there's the top of one there. So you have three, one, two, three, and then four. There's one in the middle here. Sorry, it's a shorter one. Um, and that pushes the steam through the soil column all the way up the height of the tubes faster um, than through the soil medium itself. So those have reduced our heating time, which means that um, we're still getting hotter than 140 in certain parts of the profile, but for less time and a, and a smaller amount of the profile of the whole soil. So that's been a really nice improvement. Um, the other thing that's cool about this system is it's kind of modular, so you can just add in, like make a, a serial setup of these cans. So the first one we did was just one. Obviously, this is a 50 gallon can. You're not getting that much soil done at one time. So we set up a system uh, which is really easy to do with the propane tank where it has um, multiple uh, attachments. So you can have three, I think some of them might even have five, but you can have three hoses and three cans set up for one tank of propane. And so at this setup, um, when we have that tube coming in, you would just come and connect that tube here to your delivery tube from, from the barbecue room. <laughs> and you are ready to rock and roll. Hi, I am Alejandro. Today I'm going to show you how we heat treat our soil at the Watershed Nursery. As Diana has showed you, we have three metal containers in where we put our soil. We will fill our containers with water and soil. First, we will add a couple of inches of water to our container, which will help transfer the heat up into our soil column and also prevent from overheating. Second step is we add the soil. 
We will pour our soil five gallons at a time. And we will add a little bit of water into the soil. We add five more gallons of soil. Add some more water. And now, with our trash can two thirds full, we will put in the metal pipes, which will also help transfer the heat from the bottom of the soil up into our soil cone. What I do is I first spin them and insert the closed end to dig a hole in the soil instead of digging in with the open part which would clog it. So then I just spin it and insert it in the same hole in this manner. With our metal pipes now inserted, it's time to fill in the rest of the container with soil. Make sure the copper pipes are completely covered. And then we add the last bit of water. Now we close, put the lid on our container, and repeat the process. Okay, now that we have started the fire on our three containers, we will log the time and we will come back in two and a half hours to check on them. Okay, now we're back. It's been two and a half hours since we started our fire. I can feel this is really hot and it's also steamy which is a good indicator that everything is working. So first we're going to check the temperature in the outer part of the soil around the edge. Our goal temperature is 140 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. We can see this is going way higher. So that is partially good. We don't want it to go too high though. Let's check around the center. So it's around 180 degrees. I usually check around the edges and after I check the center because the center is the last part that gets hot. All right, so just a couple little points to add since Alejandro's um, information to you. You notice when he was talking about the temperature that we got hot after two and a half hours. So everybody's media is a little different. So the first few times we did it, we were checking it really every half hour. Um, it takes quite a while to start moving, but then when it moves, it moves kind of fast. So I would recommend everybody just checking it very often until you know the ballpark for your media. And then since we filmed that, we've added a few more storage places. So this is um, a limited amount of production, but we can have days when we do um, extra production. And this one's empty, but... Um, <laughs> and then we can have it prepped and ready for moments that we need it in the future. So there you have it. That is the Watershed Nursery's current method for heat treating our media and I hope you find it helpful.